nobody, including the United, and most of all the United States, goes to war to liberate or spread democracy. The only incentive on a practical level to go to war is to acquire resources. In the United States case, it frequently is either energy resources, shall I say, supporting political alliances to preserve access to energy resources. Smedley Butler, a U.S. Marine Corps general major who was the most decorated Marine at the time of his death, stated it well when he wrote, I spent 33 years and four months in active military service, and during that period, I spent most of my time as a high-class muscle man for big business, for Wall Street and the bankers. In short, I was a racketeer, a gangster for capitalism, I helped make Mexico safe for American oil interests. I helped make Haiti and Cuba a decent place for the National City Bank boys to collect revenues in. I helped in raping of half a dozen Central American republics for the benefit of Wall Street. I helped purify Nicaragua for the International Banking House of Brown Brothers. I brought light to the Dominican Republic for the American sugar interests. I helped make Honduras right for the American fruit companies. In China, I helped see to it that Standard Oil went on its way unmolested. Looking back on it, I might have given Al Capone a few hints. The best that he could do was operate his racket in three districts. I operated on three continents. War is a racket. It always has been. A few profit and the many pay. But there is a way to stop it. You can end it by disarmament conferences. It can be smashed effectively only by taking the profit out of war. 